For usual, every gosh channel for educational purposes only and is not intended as financial advice. It's teaching Tech Tuesday. I wanted to talk about alerts today in a few different formats. Hopefully, everyone who trades actively uses alerts liberally. We'll go through price alerts again and show how I use those on Kraken Pro and TradingView. You can also get different types of news alerts depending on whether or not you want to trade on this information. As it's coming out, there are, of course, services and news aggregators that do this. But if you just want an easy digest of news for whatever you want each day, this is one way to do that. You can go into Google Alerts and you can create alert on whatever you want. And you can set the frequency, the sources. We can create the alert and then it'll show up in your designated email whenever the alert would trigger, whether that's daily or you know, in my case for my name, anytime my name shows up anywhere on the internet and Google finds that, I get an alert for that. But if you're looking at maybe a specific developer or a project and you're looking for news that you might otherwise miss because you've got three jobs, six kids, and three wives, this is one way to do that. On Twitter, of course, you can also follow specific news-related accounts. Tier 10K is a great one. Walter Bloomberg is another one. Um, for crypto specifically, Tier 10K is definitely one of my favorites. You can also add notifications for certain accounts. Tree News is another one I really like. They must have some sort of automated tweet going out if flows for certain ETFs are above a certain level. They've got all sorts of fun stuff on here as well. And you can take the Twitter stuff a step further. You can create lists. And then on those lists, you can add individual accounts. And then you can either view those lists through Twitter. Or you can go on to Twitter Pro, X Pro, TweetDeck, whatever you want to call it. And then you can add those lists individually to TweetDeck. This is kind of more of a fire hose rather than an alert system. But it allows you to separate all of the information versus just one giant scrolling list of all sorts of information, right? Through TweetDeck, XPro, whatever they want to call it. You can also add specific searches. You can add a whole column for whatever you want. Uh, Rune, Aptos, you know, it doesn't really matter. Whatever, whatever you want, whatever the ticker is. And then you can change the levels of engagement to maybe curate it a little bit because you're going to get a ton of junk that you might not want to see. But if you're looking for trading ideas, if you're looking for news, if you're looking for anything, right? This is one way to see what people are saying about coins on Twitter. We can also like look up power law for Bitcoin and we can add that and we can see what people are talking about. So depending on what you want to look for, what you're looking for, the news related alerts can be pretty useful when you're trying to navigate endless amounts of information. Before we talk about alerts on Kraken Pro, I'll talk about the sponsor for today's video, Kraken Pro. Kraken Pro is a complete overhaul of the Kraken trading experience with a one-stop shop for advanced and professional traders. Kraken Pro enables efficient trading execution across multiple markets with a UI that allows for unique optimization tailored to your trading style. You can check out Kraken Pro with the link in the description of this video, non-investment advice. Crypto trading involves risk of loss. Cryptocurrency services are provided to U.S. and U.S. territory customers by Payward Ventures, Inc., PBI, DBA, Kraken. So in Kraken Pro, once you're logged in, in the top left, you'll see order form and alerts. Once you add an alert or price, it'll populate here. And then you can see the history of all the alerts that you've had and the alerts that have triggered. You can always reactivate those alerts if you want them uh, once again. But looking at the BTC price alert we have here, first of all, adding it to the chart, you just right click anywhere on the chart, not the indicator or the candlestick or the axes just anywhere on the blank space on the chart. And then you can set the alert there. It'll ask you price wise above, below, at, etc. And then you can always move it manually a little bit here. You can also drag this alert and it'll ask you, do you want to update the alert? And you can also remove it from the chart if you want. And it'll get removed from your active alerts column. As far as trading, how I use these, let's say you are uh, breakout trading. Okay. So if I'm breakout trading something at 66.3, I'll probably set an alert slightly lower for Bitcoin. I'm going to know when prices hit certain levels. This is something I look at 
constantly throughout the day. It's really for other stuff. It's for alts. It's for BTC pairs, ETH pairs, things that you probably aren't looking at every day. Those are really where you need alts the most, or not alts, alerts the most, because sometimes things will just happen and it'll be so obvious in hindsight. And you're like, man, if I only would have had an alert for that, I would have done something about it. Now uh, we can also set alerts. Let's say we want to stop loss. We're in an active trade. If we want to stop loss at a uh, lower low here, you can always do that as well. And again, you can select when last price is above at or below the alert level. And then that alert will get added to the chart. If you are connected to your mobile account, you should also get those alerts to mobile. And like I was saying, let's say you have a limited amount of time to look at charts every week. And instead of taking trades directly that day on Sunday or on Saturday night or whatever, spend your 30 minutes scanning charts and setting alerts versus forcing trades. You know, let's say we want something to make a higher high or a lower low. Again, we can set alerts there for breakout trading, for stop losses, uh, for take profit levels. If we look at Aptos, if you're in a trade, obviously consider having stop losses or take profit levels on the order book, depending on your risk tolerance, but you can also just set alerts, right? Set alerts. And then you can make the decision on what you want to do, assuming you're awake or able to log into the exchange to do so. You don't always have to take action. You don't always have to have orders on the book. For some people, it's better for their own personal trading style. If they just have everything ready to go on the order book. For, but for some people, they'd certainly rather have the alerts. Now, as I was saying with the odd pairs, if we look at like Soul ETH, if I wanted an alert on Soul ETH making a higher high, this is something I look at like once a month, probably. I don't look at this very often. But just as an example, we can add an alert there. And now I will know. I will not be surprised when this randomly goes higher because I'll be notified and ready to go. And if I want to take action at that point, I can take action. So I like alerts for breakout trades, take profit levels, stop loss levels, common sense type stuff. This isn't rocket science. And it's definitely best for things that you rarely look at that you maybe happen to come across and you think, wow, that that could be a new all-time high soon. That could be an ascending triangle. This could be interesting for Solana versus ETH or whatever versus whatever, DeFi versus NFTs, whatever it is, right? Just good to have some kind of alert on the books. On TradingView, you can also do this via the same method. You can right-click anywhere on the chart and you'll see add alert at X price. This is one of those examples, SMH versus IGV, software versus semis, depending on if you want an alert at lower lows, we can add that. There's all sorts of optionality here on uh, TradingView. You can get an email, you can get all sorts of fun stuff. And you can see all of my alerts over the past couple days. You can see all my pending alerts, just a ton of alerts here. There's just really no reason not to when you're looking at multiple different markets and you're not just focused on five things every day and you're looking at legacy and crypto and metals and all these weird pairs and BTC over TQQQ, right? Um, so it's a great idea to just throw them in the alert section. Just throw them in there. You'll forget about them. And then one day the alert will pop and at least you'll know, you know, it won't be a surprise when you look at the chart three years later and you're like, oh man, that would have been a great thing to take action on. An additional thing on TradingView you can do is set alerts on the indicators or on oscillators or on different panes of these trading panels. We can add alerts on RSI. If we turn on uh, the cloud, if we turn on any of these specific lines, we can add alert on the trend line. And if we go back to, let's just say BTC here, and we are looking at the best indicator of all time, the cloud for on the daily, let's say we want an alert on the key June for whatever reason, we can do that here. We can add a condition where price is crossing the key June equivalent or the baseline or the conversion line, whatever it is, right? And we can add that as a reminder for a stop loss level or price below the cloud, whatever you want it to be, right? It's one thing to have a journal and keep track of everything, but then not knowing when to execute or where to execute can get you in trouble. So if you make a plan Sunday night, or if you made a plan three months ago and you're like, you know what? I want to sell when we get a bearish TK cross on the daily, having an alert as a reminder is a really great thing. A few more things on TradingView. They also have a calendar 
for global economic events. You can curate this however you want. In the top right here, we can sort by country. I just have USA number one selected there. You'll see all of the, the Fed speak. You'll see all of the numbers that come through. You can change the, the calendar, the weeks. We can also hit this button here, which only sorts by high importance based on their metrics. I don't know what those high important things are, but makes sense here. We're seeing consumer sentiment, inflation, market moving type events that you'd want to definitely pay attention to, at least know that they're happening. There's also a table here for company earnings. Again, globally, you can sort by country. Ideally, you'd probably want to sort this by market cap because we certainly care more about probably the financial earnings than uh, whatever Neogen Corporation is, right? But it's all here if you want to see that. And then lastly, there's also a dividends uh, section. Another thing that I always have trouble finding would be bond auctions. So if you go back to the economic calendar, and if we sort this by bonds specifically, we will see the bond auctions for the United States, for Japan, for whoever, in case you're ever curious when they are and what the results were. So that's all for this one. If you use alerts in different ways or in other ways, let me know in the comments below. Like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe, and happy trading.